From surveillance cameras, it appears the three cubs are doing fine at their new temporary home at Sonoma County Wildlife Rescue. But the California Department of Fish and Wildlife wants to be sure. And so just to confirm that everything's going smoothly, we do have to actually get our hands on them at some point. And so today is the day of, of sedated uh, physical exams and full workups. So one by one, they're darted. And after the sedative kicks in, given full medical exams. They're weighed, each around 65 pounds, and measured, and x-rayed, and more. That'll include, you know, physical status, including the skeletal system. Um, it's also, we're collecting blood samples, so we can make sure that uh, the major organs are um, doing fine internally, and we're also screening for a very important disease in bears, adenovirus. Um, and we're also taking this opportunity to give them uh, parasite control. Um, and then just being ready to respond to, to whatever they need as we find, but so far it hasn't been anything else more significant. The x-rays revealed one cub had been shot with a pellet gun. So just a single pellet. Um, it wasn't in the place that was causing severe damage. It was buried in the muscles uh, in its back along the thorax area. So luckily it's incidental in the fact that it's not causing any ongoing health concern. Um, but of course, uh, that's not uh, anything we want an animal to experience. Right. Another cub had an injured paw, perhaps from being clipped by a car, but it too was healing nicely. The cubs are undeniably cute, but they're not being treated like teddy bears. We are not going in, we're not cuddling, we're not handling, there's not the opportunity for anyone else to come on and have that kind of hands-on activity. That's just counterproductive towards the rehab experience. The goal is to keep them wild and not have them mimic the behavior of their mother by trying to get food from people. Those ha bad habits were not so ingrained in them that they have, it has changed them. Just to see them so quickly running and hiding was amazing to us. So we're, we're quite happy. Every week, about 700 pounds of food is hidden while the cubs are in their den. They have to learn to find the food the way wild bears do when there's not a dumpster or a refrigerator around. They get food rewards based on working for it, like climbing a tree or moving a rock or digging out underneath a felled tree or finding in a, a ditch, you know, finding food in places so that they learn how to forage and that they learn how to get a food reward based on not just having it set out there by a garbage can, but, you know, how they would really actually have that happen in the wild. And the other part of it, which is pretty amazing, is that there's not human interaction with these bears right now. They actually need to relearn a fear of humans, which they do here as well. Hank the Tank has been renamed Henrietta, but to Fish and Wildlife, she's called 64F. She's doing well now at her new home at a sanctuary in Colorado. She is going to live out the rest of her life in a sanctuary, which is actually not ideal either. The best place for wild animals is in the wild. And so what we really need to do as humans is to avoid any kind of conflict that's going to get them into a situation like 64F is in. Some wonder why she was taken from her cubs. There's been huge public interest in the cubs. Um, a lot of people are really concerned to see, you know, how I've been asked a lot about how rehabilitation works. Um, I've been asked a lot about the separation from the mother. And a lot of that is just people humanizing that, thinking that, you know, those traits are like human traits. But really what the goal is here is for these cubs to be rehabilitated so that they can go back out into the wild. And 64F, that's just not an option for her because of the fact that there's just a long history of conflict. Meanwhile, Sonoma County Wildlife Rescue broke ground on a new, larger bear facility the size of a football field. It will even feature a waterfall and pool where the cubs can learn to fish. When do you hope to have it open? In about three months. <laughs> I'm hoping. Pretty soon. Yes. If we just keep pushing as hard as we can and working as hard as we can, we'll get her built. And they always say, if you build it, they'll come. <laughs>